Hey guys, Joshua Gundano here, and uh, it's my day off, which means I'm working on Gundam Father of Peace. Some days that's animation, um, some days it's editing, and some days it's custom building, and today I am custom building. This is something I threw together with some not so great VHS's that uh, I tried to use for a VHS hanger, it didn't work very well because, well, my cuts were really bad. Just bad. It was an experiment. Um, anyways, uh, I've been wanting to build the full-on hanger and, uh, you know, doors and everything. I've been playing video games from Gundam and looking at a Baku and Solomon, so, uh, check this out. Imagine that everything is gray or silver, okay? These are not see-through, they are solid gray. Pretty cool, huh? So, uh, what I have here is just a start, but it's four rows of two VHSs. And, uh, some of these aren't ready for painting. You know, they still got stickers on them. So I just kind of, some of them I glued together. I thought I might use, like, ones that still had the tapes in them for a little more weight. So they didn't pull out so easily, but that really seems to have been unnecessary. These ones are just taped together for experimenting. Built a little top here. I would like to run lights through these. Um, we'll have to see how that goes, though. But basically, there's a VHS here and a VHS here. And so these just slide in between. This would be glued on. Right now it's taped. Um, there's a VHS here that stabilizes onto the back. I'll show you that see the back here um, just two VHS's glued on so you know it provides more stability and whatnot um, originally made these three long so I could push them and slide them in but it makes them stick out quite a bit so actually what I think I'll do is I'll end up taking this part right here off and just leaving it because it really doesn't need to have this whole extra VHS part and uh, I'll probably be sorry I glued this and use it for something else. I don't know. <laughs> Rip them apart, glue them back together. But uh, you can see the idea. It works pretty nicely. It'll probably scratch the paint a bit over time, but it'll be all right. And so, now I have hanger doors. I've been wanting to build hanger doors almost from the very beginning. And I was thinking about using... Uh, you know, these parts, because they're, you know, they they bend, they flop open. Maybe doors that flew open, but it would leave kind of a gap. And so, today I just came up with the, uh, the sliding doors. Double doors. So we're going to have our mobile suit here, and it's ready to launch out of uh, Solomon. And then I'll push the sound effects on my aircraft carrier. And then it's just like, you know, little lights. <laughs> oh man, I like this. It's just a prototype. But you can be sure that I'm going to, to take this to the next level and, uh, you know, get stuff painted, get some lights put in. The cool thing is that uh, another VHS can just go right here to build our wall. That will also provide more stabilization. So it'll probably end up looking kind of like this. And then my other VHS hangers can just line up right next to it where there's a whole storage section, you know. One could go here as well so I could film from multiple angles and just put a hanger where I need it. And totally have these uh, awesome sliding doors. I am, I am really excited about this. You can build anything out of these VHS tapes, seriously. And a lot of the, there's places that sell them for 50 cents each. So, you know, you have a VCR, you watch a VHS movie, you go, dude, that movie was awful. Or I have that on DVD, or I'll go buy it on DVD, or whatever. Yeah, because search the pawn shop for it, get it for three bucks. Um, or copy the VHS tape over onto a burn DVD. I mean, there's genius right there. But, uh, 
they're not hard to get small price for paint just use spray paint uh, the pain in the butt is the stickers if you can get the ones without the stickers and uh, that's much better you can get ones that don't have writing up here that makes it easier too. like that little thing that says VHS or the arrow not a big deal but when it's the writing like this see that's still visible even after the spray paint I tried filling some of them in and it still ended up badly like those I filled those in but um it still didn't go well so you know for the most professional look you you scour for the VHS's that don't have writing on them other stuff like soaking the VHS tape to get the stickers off and whatnot it's kind of a pain in a way but what you can build you know what I what I found best was you, you go someplace and they have like that stack of brand new VHS's at the you know used clothing store or whatever and you make sure they don't have any writing on them, embedded writing, and then you just buy all those. Um, that's what I did once for my first hanger. But, you know, I, that's kind of hard to find. Anyways, I'm rambling. I encourage you guys to use the VHS hanger methods. It is cool. It is really cool. And uh, please let me know what you think of this sliding door design. It's a prototype, but let me know. Catch you guys later.